Hi, today we're going to make some um, stained glass windows. So I started to cut one out, I've never done one before, and I, th I thought about the materials you might have. So we've got some card here, this is not, this is very thick paper. Um, and I thought maybe you've got some tissue paper. This is just normal, kind of like, I don't know, just any old tissue paper. You can get coloured paper, coloured tissue paper as well, so you could use that. Um, and But I've got some lighting gels as well, which I might use on some of my things. There's different ways of doing it. So um, I thought I'd show you a few ways. So this one's a really complicated drawing, and I started to cut it out. But you could do a more simple one, where I've done a little drawing on a piece of... Um, uh, tissue and I thought I'd frame it. So if I got a, um, a, a, a If I did a like a frame like that That's sort of bigger Then I could cut it out oh, I'm really not an exact person. I could cut it out and then see what it looks like through the through the frame. When I cut, well, you can make it more exact than that. When I cut out from the middle, I tend to um, fold the piece of paper and then make a little um, slit. And then through there, you can start to cut the inside of something. Um, you can spend more time on it than I am because I'm obviously rushing and making a big mess here. But the thought of it is that I could make it as a frame and frame the picture. This is a light box. So you can see that through the window that might look quite nice. Or I did a pencil drawing over here and um, so that, I think that looks quite nice. Although actually I think I'd draw a smaller frame and frame it better. Um, and I'm gonna show you in a minute how to cut out, stick on the stick the thing on underneath. Actually, do you know what? It might be better to do a thicker frame. Um, that would be more clever. But we'll, I'll, sh I'll do some sped up things of all of this. We'll do a thicker frame just now when I show you how I was starting to draw. Turn that off. So when I was drawing, if I'm just going to put different different colours underneath, like cut up um, coloured gels or coloured tissue and stick different colours underneath for different sections, I would have to make a bigger, bigger, fatter frame than this one. So say I'm going to make a cupcake drawing. There, well, it doesn't matter because this could be the back. So I'll draw my cupcake. There's my cupcake. It was upside down for you. But I need to make a frame like bubble writing. So I'm imagining that my my so I'm imagining that this bit's gonna get cut out. And I've got to make a big frame for each section of my cupcake to make it look like. This is going to be the back, so it doesn't matter. Oh, I made that a bit thicker. There, so I'm going to cut that bit out and cut that bit out. I want them. And um, finding it easier to cut out the, the holes before I cut the, the outside out to get, so that it's a bit stronger when I cut it. So I'm going to, I'm actually, I've been, if you haven't got sharp scissors like this, really don't attempt a fiddly thing because. That's that's really quite hard. I guess if I guess adults use um, knife to cut the thing, but I but we we're, we're not doing that because we're children. So you're not doing that. You're a child probably. And um, so anyway, we're cutting from the middle. We cut round and round and round. Like that, and then. Cutting this middle again. Again, you can either fold it, fold it a bit and snip it and then cut it through. 
the older you are or the more, um, the more practice with scissors you are, the more detailed you can get. There we go. You might have lots of different people in your house. You might have people of teenage, people of adults, um, people of like five years old even trying to do this. So lots and lots of you can have a go at the same time and just do different types of drawing. So I'm cutting, cutting a big framed picture here. And the same applies for my smaller framed picture. It's the same principle, it's upside down, but um, it's just that it's, it's sort of easier to cut this one. But it's going to be very beautiful. I could have done a butterfly, couldn't I? Because that would be fly, that would fly on the window, but I like, I like cake, so I thought I'd do a cupcake. Cupcakes are great. And what else could you draw? You could draw a little animal or um, a flower, or you could draw hmm, a um, ladybird would be good, wouldn't it? You could do the, we could do, you could do it in black framed paper and, and draw the outside and draw its line down the middle and its little head. And then you could stick black spots on, back up, back on. Because you can stick things back onto these frames. So here you could stick the gel on behind to get a nice colour, but um, you mustn't, you mustn't, um, you mustn't forget that you've got to use that frame to stick it onto. So maybe just for the camera, I'll show you where I might cut. I might cut like that big. It's useful to have a sharpie there. Just oh, that's not very good. These scissors are quite blunt, actually. Better. So these gels are. Um, um, you might use tissue, coloured tissue and stick these on the back, but the, the gels won't stick with glue. So I use teeny tiny bits of sellotape to stick it. And notice I'm putting it on the bad side. This is my drawn on side. And um, I don't really want the sellotape to show through the stencil. I just want it to be... Um, right on that, just on the, the um, card. And have a look, let's have a look through the lights, what that looks like. Nice. Oh, you can kind of see the gel through. Maybe that's why they use black outlines all the time. Perhaps that's why, because then you wouldn't be able to see the, the gel on the inside. I'm no fussy though, I wouldn't mind that. And then we could put different colours of gel underneath. The rest of it. Um, God, a piece of paper. Different coloured gels under there, and um, build it up. Do you see what I mean? Now let's have a let's have another look at something else. So, um, another way of sticking it on would be let's do another frame for these ones here. Let's do a black frame. Oh, how very, 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 I don't care what colour. I'm not fussy, am I? Let's do a nice thick frame. That will hold the picture in better. So, to stick on a picture, or oh, let's draw a picture first. Let's see, look, I coloured this in with, um, with just felt tip pens and I thought it looked quite nice. Looks quite it looks quite effective really. So if and if you've just got white tissue paper, you can use that. You can sometimes get it on the inside packaging of um, shirts and stuff. It's it's quite easy to come by. Your neighbour might have some. Well anyway, so if I was going to stick that on in there or that on in there um, I would, this is all on a bend, let's draw something else, let's draw uh, another flower. There's a 
flower. Pen doesn't work. There, you can just enjoy your sketching and um, colour things in. Colour it in. You can use different stuff like I had a, I had, oh yeah, like a um, fluoro pen as well, that looks quite good. Some juicy red blobs. So, because it's tissue paper, it will stick with glue. So, I was thinking. If you wanted to, you could just gently draw that. Actually, you don't even have to do that um, for this one. But you could draw around the edge and then cut it out. And then you'd be able to stick it on. I'm just going to cut slightly smaller than the drawing. I wish I hadn't drawn that. There. And then I would stick away all the rest of you. Stick um, that on, but we have to stick on the glue. I swear I got the glue out. <sighs> anyway, you could glue that and then stick that on top, and then you have a nice light frame on your on your on your drawing, and. Um, the same principle with this one here is that you could, <clears throat> to cut it out, I mean to, to colour it in, you could, say do, this, say do this one, we could draw inside and then these bits I'd want to cut out so I scribble them out. Scribble, scribble. And I draw all these bits to colour in and draw around the outside to cut. Or better bit do it more exact than that. Um, and then we could take that off and then colour it in the colours that you like. I might do them bright red. Because I think to do separate colours, like gel colours, underneath this complicated thing would be really, really, really time consuming. I quite like this colour. And then need to spit it back over. Hope for the best. Hmm. There's a gap, isn't there? I have to just be super careful. Maybe do a very, very light pencil and then colour it in. Maybe I'll do this in speed up and then you can see how it goes. And this, how to cut out a fiddly bit. There's the eyes on there. Have a look, there's eyes on there and I won't be able to cut around them because they've got no nothing to stick onto. All of these lines are sort of joined up together. So there's no um, there's no separateness. Otherwise it just um, it will come off like these eyeballs. So let's see. Cutting these ears.
Well, then, yeah, with this tissue, I can do different colours underneath. I could even colour his nose in if I wanted. I could cut, actually, I cut that nose shape in and just colour it in black. It's a fox, if you're wondering. Ooh, very fiddly. But those eyes, how am I going to stick that back in? I'll try it with a bit of tape here. Maybe I'll just draw them back in with black. Yeah, I could just draw them back in. I'll be fine. Or you could cut out um, the card and stick it back on top. That wouldn't hurt. Right, I'll do a little sped up thing. I changed my mind. Well, what what was it was really fiddly to try and um, colour them in, cut it all out, and then stick it on. So we're going to stick it on first. Um, found the glue, and we're going to just on the bad side or the drawn side, just very carefully. Um, glue that all of the edges I don't know how to do this without it being really boring and then and then stick it on to the other side and colour through so I'll just do that on time lapse so that you don't get bored out of your brains <laughs> 